you need to know this right now for July the 23rd through July the 24th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for July the 23rd through July the 24th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for July the 23rd through July the 24th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for July the 23rd through July the 24th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Capricorn, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So listen, Capricorn, you're telling me that something is difficult, something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Capricorn, clarify the lovers. For Capricorn, clarify the lovers. For Capricorn. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So listen, Capricorn, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn. Capricorn, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the tower. 
The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' is relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So listen, Capricorn, some type of shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous in giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Now listen, Capricorn, you can tell me there was a shocking shakeup and a shocking revelation concerning your practicality. Maybe dealing with a partnership with work or business. You're finding out that they're shortchanging you. And this is a burden. You may have rushed in, went off, went ham passionately on this person with a heated discussion or argument here over your coins. Capricorn, you could also tell me in you guys' relationship or commitment, there's been a shocking revelation and maybe a shakeup or a breakup concerning there being another other lover. Someone was out being a player here. And it's burdensome because someone was giving more, someone else giving to two in you guys' relationship. Capricorn, you have the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now listen, you can tell me that you're walking away because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with someone else. However, they could be trying to apologize here, hoping that you come back. You may be coming back because they are apologizing. Capricorn, you have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So listen... Capricorn, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords. But Capricorn, clarify the Eight of Swords. But Capricorn, clarify the Eight of Swords. But Capricorn, it is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen... Capricorn. You can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the, the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational, it's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Capricorn, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Capricorn. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So listen, Capricorn, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. A Capricorn, you can tell me that you went looking and spying and you saw something here and you're indecisive about confronting this person. You're stuck and indecisive. You can tell me that, yes, you did see something here. Okay. And so you're blocking, blocking them. You could also tell me that you guys had some type of confrontation and immature, premature communication, some type of heated discussion or argument, and you're blocking them. Capricorn, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Capricorn, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups. For Capricorn, clarify the Ten of Cups. For Capricorn, clarify the Ten of Cups. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So listen, Capricorn, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Capricorn, clarify the chariot. For Capricorn, clarify the chariot. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention, or you're beginning to recognize something, or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Capricorn, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here, or this is an announcement being made. So listen, Capricorn, I feel like something is being brought to your attention here, okay? When you go looking and spying, you're discovering something here. And this commitment, marriage, living together situation or family that dynamics may be ending. You're wanting to leave.
Capricorn, you have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So listen, Gemini, I meant Capricorn, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about whether or not to cut them off. Yes. Could also be conflicted within about some type of legal documentation or paperwork, maybe concerning some type of commitment or maybe work or business. You could also tell me that because of some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place here, you're cutting them off and you're just ready to leave the situation. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Capricorn. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I miss hearing your voice and getting your text messages every day. I miss hearing your voice and getting your text messages every day. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Capricorn. And it says, I know I messed up everything. I know I messed up everything. Capricorn, you need to know this right now for July the 23rd through July the 24th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.